Hey, how's it going? I got myself a floating magnet motor here that I built up. I've got some other videos on on it, the build up and doing some different things with it. Uh, progressed to this stage to where I'm running a, basically a coil, you can check my other videos out on the build up, a reed switch and two AAA batteries. And I hooked up a 110 volt light bulb and Still have not figured out how running off two AAA batteries this bulb fires up, but I've had uh, magnets fly off the motor, which is just an arrow. And this time I got these magnets taped up to see what kind of RPM I'll get. So I'm gonna go ahead and start it up and we're gonna run, use my uh, tachometer here see how fast I can get it going with the, the AAA batteries and then we're going to supercharge the damn thing. Right, I hit 4500 even. We're going to go ahead and set up with the 12 volt battery and I'm gonna hook this in with a switch out back and we're gonna see what happens. Alright I got everything ready. I'm gonna start spinning this and then I'm gonna gauge the switch. There we go. Almost hit 7,000 RPM so far. All right, here we go with round two. I moved this magnet in a little bit, hoping to keep it more stable. Throw on a switch. taped up it didn't hold it blew through the stretched out the tape blew through it ended up ricocheting I think down here off the table and plowed into the tin over there and left a hell of a mark so as far as uh, RPMs goes I don't know what happened I'm hoping the camera itself will read it where I had it setting but I think it might have messed up I only had like a little over six grand on that one like I said back to the drawing board and Want to achieve 10,000 RPM on this stupid thing. I think I got to do some balancing, and that 12 volt battery helps a lot, but I want to see if it actually works yet under the, with the normal batteries. Still working with the normal battery, so got a chance yet. There you go. Terminal velocity on my magnet motor so far. 